What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to spoof your location on your device using a tool called iAnyCo. This one allows you to change your location to anything you want, which successfully fools any sort of application that requests your location, including games and stuff like that and travel apps and whatever. So you can actually change your location to a single point or you can do single point movement from A to B or you can do multi point movement. So this basically creates a trajectory for you to follow. It makes your device believe that it's actually moving from a location to another using a vehicle of sort. So we're going to see exactly in a second. If you want the program, it's available on Tenorshare's official website and it's called Tenorshare iAnyGo, available for both Windows and Mac OS. And there's also a free download available. It's basically saying here that you can one click change your iPhone location to anywhere, which is actually true. It does work pretty fine. You can plan a route by selecting two or multiple spots on the map. You can easily simulate GPS movement based on a customized route, save favorite places and historical records to design the route quickly and work with all location based applications like Pokemon Go, Ingress, fitness apps and Facebook and stuff like that. And it does support iOS 14 and lower. It's a pretty good tool to spoof your location and it can be used for various things, but please don't use it for nefarious reasons. So let's see exactly how we can use it. Now in order to be able to use it, if you want to change your location and not create a trajectory, you press here and you press enter. Now it asks for a device. You need to connect one with an USB cable. So I'm going to do that. And of course, if you have a passcode, you have to input it. And as you can see here, we got the map where I'm currently located and the current location. And here you can select whatever location you want. So that's basically what the software does. It allows you to see a map. And as you can see, I'm north of Italy here. And then you can select any point in the world and your device will believe that you're actually there. And it will report that new location to any application that requests location data. So for example, if you open a game that actually uses your location, it's it's going to believe that you are in a different point than you really are. Let's say I want to be in Japan. So I'm going to go here to Japan and to Tokyo and I'm going to select this point. And as you can see, it automatically picked up the destination and I can start the modify. If I press here, now my phone will believe that I'm actually there. It also says in here the operation may trigger a warning on your iOS device. It's recommended to close all the geolocation based applications before starting. So I'm going to press continue here and there you go. Current location, it says that it's now Tokyo. It's no longer Italy. Now we can actually check this. I'm going to go here on the phone and I'm going to show you what the uh, Apple Maps reports as my location. So I'm going to be right back. All right, so I'm here on the phone and as you can see, I have the Maps application coming from Apple. And if I open it and press here on the location marker, it goes directly to Tokyo. It's basically my location. So the Apple Maps believes that I'm actually in Tokyo, which is pretty cool. Now watch this. I'm going to actually zoom out. And as you can see, it says that I'm in Tokyo. Now I'm going to go to my computer and actually change it live. So it now believes that of course I'm in Tokyo. I'm going to press again the marker so you can see it goes there to Tokyo. But I'm going to go now to the computer and I'm going to select a completely different location. I'm going to go in Egypt. So I'm going to select Egypt and start to modify continue and there you go. As you can see, it automatically changed to Egypt. And if I press the location marker now, you can see that it shows that I am in the middle of Egypt. So pretty cool. Actually, it does change your location and it does change the location that is actually reported by the phone. So you can see exactly what's going on with the maps application. The same thing happens if I open the weather application and allow it to see my location. This one in here, it says new valley, which is probably somewhere in Egypt. Let's actually change that again. And I'm going to go here and open the program and select a different location. I'm going to wait for the device to connect. And yeah, I am in New Valley, Egypt. Let's actually go to the United States. Now I'm going to go here to the United States, place it here. And I'm going to be somewhere on the East Coast. It's going to be Virginia. And I open the maps application. You can see exactly what's going on here. And now it says that I am in United States. So as you can see, I'm in West Virginia now. And if I press that, it goes directly to the street where I am. I'm basically close to Laurel Creek. Now, if I open the weather application again, Again, still says in here New Valley, but as you can see, it now has updated and it says that I'm now in Raynell. So this is pretty good. It actually works pretty fine. Every single iOS application on the phone is actually fooled by the new location, including maps, weather, and of 
course games. All right, so that's basically how you change the location. If you want to set a single spot movement, you press here to enter and of course connect the phone and that's basically it. You get the start point and the end point. So I want the end point to be from Virginia to let's say to Kentucky. So we're going to go here, select a location. You can of course zoom, you can select a more accurate location like down to streets and numbers and stuff. And then of course you can select the speed uh, of which you're going to move. If you want to walk there or if you want to of course be going with motorcycle or of course by car. So I'm going to move by car and press start to move, press continue and that's it. It will start the journey from here. So you can see exactly what's going on. It started the journey from here and it will continue to go down the path all the way up to the final location and your phone will believe that you're actually moving so if you're playing a game that requires you to move this will be pretty cool and apparently it's going to take 15 hours for this to be completed and the distance is actually 506 kilometers so we're gonna stop this here and I'm gonna show you how to do with the multi spot movement press enter and it's basically the same thing you select a starting point and then you select a final point like Ohio in here and then you can select another point like this so from Ohio I'm gonna go here to Cincinnati and from Cincinnati I'm gonna go to Kentucky and from Kentucky back to Virginia so it's basically creating like some sort of path you can select by car and press start to move and continue and there you go it's gonna start from here and it's gonna go all through here it's 1149 kilometers and it's going to take 33 hours to complete and your phone will believe all these 33 hours that it's actually moving in your pocket so that's how you do it that's how you change your location with iAny Go if you want the program it's available here on the Tenorshare website there is a free download available as well check it out below and of course till the next time I'm just now, peace out.